Hey everyone, welcome to the Starving Artist Tag. So this is a collaboration with a couple other YouTube friends. We have Katherine Ward, Tina Yu, Lena Danya, Happy D Artist, and Katie Jobling, and me. And anyway, I'm going to leave their stuff down in the description because I want you to check them out. And this is just a cool way to get to know each other. We're going to answer some questions. And some are serious. Some are just kind of silly. If you feel like doing the Starving Artist tag, it's just a bunch of questions, as I said. And you're more than welcome to do them. I'm going to leave the questions down below in the description in case you guys want to do it. So, the first question is, what's your favorite experience as an artist? Well, I kind of like just having a creative outlet. Um, I'm not very good at expressing myself with words. I, I don't know, like, unless I'm typing or writing them out, I vocally just am not good at expressing myself concisely and getting to the point. And with art, I feel like I can do that, but people might not know what I mean anyway. And so it's, it's a kind of cool thing. And I feel like, yeah, I can just kind of get my imagination going out there and put it into my artwork anyway. <laughs> What's your least favorite experience as an artist? Um, probably when other people tell me what to draw. What are your dreams and goals for your art? Well, my dreams and goals for my art would probably be to inspire other people to do art. I feel like so many people on the internet, especially in my comments, just feel like their art isn't good enough and they'll never be as good as they want to be, so why try? And I want to show them, like, you know, my art is not perfect. I have a long ways to go. I have to improve in so many areas. And the most important thing for me is, you know, I love what I do. And um, I don't I don't know. I just want other people to feel that inspiration, too. Um, okay. What is your favorite medium and why? It depends on the day, so you could ask me that any day, and it might be a different answer. Um, I think gouache would probably be my top favorite, but I really love acrylic and watercolor and Copics. I want to get back into oils. I've done a couple oil paintings in a long time ago. <laughs> what inspired you to do art? And why do you love it? My dad is a really good artist, and my mom was an interior designer growing up, and she was always doing really crafty things around the house. And so I think from both of them, I kind of just felt inspired. And then my older brother is like phenomenal at art, and so all three of those people have inspired me in my life. And yeah, so if any of you guys are watching this, I love you and you're my inspiration. <laughs> Who and what are your biggest art influences? <laughs> Practically the whole artist community on YouTube. Um, I really like Sacklems and pretty much everybody in this group that is doing this collaboration right now. They're amazing. And, um, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. Hello Alice is really amazing. Cat Valk. Tons of artists. I mean, like, everybody, really. I think, I really appreciate everybody's styles. And, I think there's a lot to learn from a ton of different styles. So I try to be open-minded with, like, exploring different people's styles. Um, there's a lot of people on Instagram I like, like Carla Rodriguez and... Yeah, tons of people are really probably my influence, and um, I don't know, I daydream a lot, and probably what goes on in my head has to come out on paper, so I guess that influences things. <laughs> what did you learn from being a full-time artist? Well, I learned that it is a lot of work. A normal work day probably exceeds the normal seven, eight, nine hours, whatever people work. There are days I spend like 14 hours or 12 hours or whatever, you know, until it has to get done. You just gotta do it. And I learned that it's really rewarding because, you know, I, I don't have to like go to work somewhere else and then think about the whole day like, man, I just wanna go home and do this painting. It's more like, you know, you wake up and, like, that's your job. you got to do this painting, and it's, it's really fun. And so, yeah, it's hard to get it going. It really does take a lot of work. The art part isn't the 100% part of your job. It's like you have to connect with social media, promote your stuff, work on selling your stuff, and, like, all this other behind-the-scenes stuff, learn how to edit. So I learned that becoming a full-time artist... Um, the whole art part is probably 50% of it, if not 
less honestly and then I feel like the other stuff is a lot more work but if you like what you do then hey man it's all good what do your family and friends think about you being an artist well I think my mom is really happy about it and I think a lot of my family is really happy about it it took a while to convince some people that it was like actually a real job. Um, I think a lot of people think that art is not a real job, but it is a lot of work and I definitely believe it's a real job. Was becoming an artist your childhood dream? If not, what was? Well, my childhood dream kind of changed every month and sometimes I wanted to be an artist or an actress or a vet or a teacher or whatever psychiatrist yeah it changed a lot <laughs> what advice can you give to people who want to be more artistic or creative something I would say is not to compare yourself to others if you really like to watch YouTube videos of artists and it makes you feel down about your art then I would just suggest you shut it off honestly I mean I know that's kind of bad to say but if it's if it's making you feel like um, you can't be an artist or something because you're comparing yourself to others then yeah like just don't compare yourself to others but on the other side of that if you don't struggle with comparing yourself to others and you really want to become a better artist then I would definitely say to watch all these videos or look people up on Instagram I mean there's tons of people you could definitely get involved with your local community a lot of cities have galleries and um, there's like different things where you can walk the city on like the first Friday of every month or something and just gallery hop and get to know artists and yeah I grew up with that in my community and it was cool I didn't really get involved with the galleries like with my art but I looked at everybody's and it was fun were you supported to pursue art as a child yeah for sure do you make money off of your art Yes, I do. I have an Etsy store, I have a Patreon, and I do make money from YouTube as well. What do you want to improve on, or... What do you want to improve on or aspire to be with your future art? I definitely want to improve with oils and acrylics, um, and gouache paint in general. Before I did YouTube, painting was more my thing than markers, and I feel like I'm just kind of missing it lately and want to get back into it, <laughs> and it's just like my poor heart just really misses it, so that's what I want to do. I want to improve at those things. What feelings do we try to express in our art? I think it varies, but for me, I like to express different ethnicities lately and different moods. Um, before I got into YouTube, I was really big on painting people with different facial expressions. Mostly people who were sad or making goofy faces. <laughs> and I just, I love to capture emotion. And I would really just like to express people's emotions and tons of different people, tons of different ethnicities. Because I think everybody's so beautiful. And so I just love expressing that in my art. It's just one of my favorite things. It's so cool. What is your favorite thing to paint and why? Uh, people. <laughs> people are just so relatable and I think when you look at a painting with a person there's just um, you can just feel so much especially if they have a certain expression on their face and then maybe it makes you flash back to a certain point in your life where maybe you felt a similar way to how this painting makes you feel and so I really like that. What is the strangest thing you've painted? And old man eating pizza and he was struggling to bite it because there's an old woman behind him holding his dentures and so he couldn't bite it. <laughs> it's kind of the sick morbid thing. I actually never finished the painting. Have you ever been hung up after you started a commission and how did you handle it? Thankfully I have not been hung up after starting a commission but a lot of people have talked about doing commissions with me and then once I actually get ready to do it and like the money gets involved a lot of people usually drop out of doing them um, I think sometimes with commissions people kind of feel like it's more of like since you're my friend you can do this painting for free but 
since art is my job and I have to make a living from it, sadly I have to charge something and so I think that's where my commissions fall through. But I mean, the way I handle it is like, it's okay. I mean, I didn't start it yet and if I were to be hung up after starting a commission, I would probably just put the piece of art in my Etsy shop or something. It's, I don't know, I don't feel like I have too hard of feelings over that stuff. I try to be positive and it's all good. Do you admit that paint smells good? Yes. What would you tell your younger self? I would have told my younger self to fill all those sketchbooks. Yeah. Alrighty guys, well that is everything from my end of the tag. Be sure to check out everybody else and get to know them and feel free to do the tag too. Anyway, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.